and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Stony Heimer. That's right, we're going to be playing Stony Suppressor and Heimer Dinger together. So Stony Suppressor, two mana, one three that says all spells cost one more. And then we're going to put that in a deck that's built around spells and two champions that care about spells with Heimerdinger and Lux. So you may be thinking, why would we ever do that? And that's a pretty good question. Why would we ever want a Stony Suppressor in with those kind of things? Well, the reason why is because not only are spells important, but a certain mana cost of spell is very important. We want six plus mana of spells for Lux. So six mana is the key number. Heimerdinger at six mana can make uh, Floor Be Gone's a 6-1 elusive turret, which is just an amazing turret. So we want 6 mana spells, but however, we kind of want to play 5 mana spells, because these 5 mana spells are really good removal. So if we play Stony Suppressor, then Concerted Strike and Detain now cost 6 mana, and so therefore they will level up Lux, they'll get us the 6-1 turret. <laughs> so that's our combo. We're going to have Stony Suppressor make our own spells cost more mana. Uh, then also with six having um, them be six cost spells means our Mage Seeker Investigator will create more detains for us that will cost six mana. And then it'll also help turn on our Mage Seeker Persuader as well. So we have a couple Purifies in here to go with our detains. So we have that combo of the Purify plus detain. Um, yeah, and then, you know, just like kind of normal things with Radiant Guardian, Remembrance, all that kind of stuff. Mage Seeker Conservator can hopefully create some, some really cool six plus cost spells that we'll have um and that's our deck all right so stony heimer uh this is definitely a mean tier deck making your own spells cost more <laughs> that's pretty silly so let's see how it does we're gonna just go play our five games and rank looks like we're playing or uh, sorry in normal we're gonna be playing against soraka sejuani up first soraka sejuani we're gonna mulligan the gotcha. That doesn't really kill either of those champions. And I'll keep these other cards. We'll probably lead it off with Remembrance on turn three. Yeah, I'm thinking we lead off with Remembrance on three. Gotta buff up Soraka. That's cool. There's our Heimer. To heal and protect. I'm not sure which one I want to get. I guess we'll take a Screeching Dragon. That's a good one. Alright, I'm going to play the Stony Suppressor right now before they play their 4 mana removal spell. I don't know what it would be. <laughs> but before they do that, we're going to play Stony Suppressor. So no Fury of the North available. No Bastion, no Astral Protection. Pledge to Szechuani's service. Ooh, that card's good. We'll make quick work of you. Just passing, or just you know, not gonna block. <clears throat> Probably do have you know, like astral protection, something like that. No need to block. Ooh, that could be a good detain. Now we're gonna just get both of my awesome champions in play first before we cast our spell, so we get full value from our spells. <clears throat> I'll pass turn. It's not that necessary to challenge the 1-1 one, one or the 0-3. Oh, just gonna pass. You own what you take. I'm not sure if there is one option that's better than the other. I guess I guess detain's better. Cause yeah, because they can use astral protection. Um actually wait, no, we pass. Because they can challenge Heimerdinger with anything. If I do that first, they just challenge with the 3-5. But maybe... 
which I kind of like the Lux, because with us probably going wide with turrets, maybe we're going to replace Stony Suppressor. I've been hiding my life too long. Oh, right, I don't have to worry about Astral Protection anymore. They cannot have that card. 6 1 turrets are good. Elusive turrets? Those are good. My final sparks cost mana. <laughs> Forgot about that. No, I think we're just gonna go for the O3. I don't I don't think they'll be able to save the O3. Guiding touch you know, guiding touch doesn't help. Ah, uh, troll chant. No more holding back. My first I was just thinking the Targon cards. Just when I needed assistance. Whoa, Fresh Lobster with the raid. What's up everybody from Fresh Lobster Stream? Welcome to all the lobsters out there. So we're doing a crazy deck here. So it's Meme Tier Monday. We're playing crazy stuff. We're playing um, Stony Suppressor to make our spells cost more so that we can have our Concerted Strikes and Detains cost six mana for Lux and Time Redinger so we can make six one turrets. That's what we got going on here today. Um, <laughs> it's pretty silly, admittedly, um, but also pretty cool. So, I don't really need to. I really need to do a lot of things. Let's just do this. Awesome. Thanks, JPI. <laughs> it sounds terrible. I love it. <laughs> that's, yep, that's that's our point of view, Termon. It does sound terrible, but it's great. <clears throat> we detained a Sejuani behind Lux. That's what we've done so far. Problem is, it does make our final sparks cost more mana. Oh no, I don't get a final spark and... Oh no. We'll see if they do have that astral protection that I've been kind of expecting. No. We don't get the 8-8. It's gonna be a good Ember Maiden. Yeah, it's gonna be a good Ember Maiden. Why does this Concerted Strike say five? Oh, right, Progress Day. Hmm. Confine and contain. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Mind meld. That one can be silly. All right, so one six one elusive down. You own what you take. I saved some for you, Sejuani. So we're spending four mana on Prismatic Barrier, which means we have five extra mana, which is why I was thinking the five mana Concerted Strike, but I guess we're just going to play this Radiant Guardian. Born for conquest. Stars fall. We'll make quick work of you. Bristle, attack. Take heart. They're not very, like, their Star Springs are at 3 and 2, so they're not very close to winning the game with the Star Springs. I'll protect you. So I don't need to be too worried about that. Hey, what's up, really powerful wizard? Yeah, I just changed one thing. Yeah, instead of uh, originally had the two mana Poro bot and just put in the one mana Mage Seeker Conservator, they can get us some six plus cost spells, some crazy things like Mind Meld. <laughs> That's a good Ember Maiden. So many animations. We're at five out of six. 
to play like two spells. Let's see, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Okay, good. So let's go. Let's go. Remembrance first. So that's four to get us a final spark. Oh, I forgot. I keep on forgetting all these final sparks costing mana now. I was gonna say then concerted strike to get another final spark. But these final sparks are gonna cost mana. Maybe I just go with the five mana one. So basically, I'm kind of thinking that maybe we can like a, maybe we attack with the stony suppressor now and, and have them kill my stony suppressor. Or I just replace stony suppressor with floor be gone. I guess that's easier. Yeah, that's easier. Never mind. That's what I was definitely planning on the whole time. They're not using any kind of protection, and then they're also not playing any units. Like, what do we got going on over here? No protection, no units. What if I replace... I mean, I'm not going to do this, but what happens if I replace Lux? So Lux doesn't die, but it will leave the... Like, would they still... Would they still get their Sedgewani back? I feel like they, they should, so I'm not going to do it. I think Sejuani would be gone. They get it back? Okay. Okay, so yes, it, it does come back to them. That's what I would uh, figure, is that it would still come back to them. Alright, Sejuani can block one of these and kill one of these. That's alright. Stop this fool. We get some 1-2 challengers. Hail, War Mother. Drive them before us, Era. Innovation must begin somewhere. I hope we get to mind meld next turn. Born for conquest. Bristle, attack! I don't want to just say that attacking with everything was game. They still had a good amount of mana. Like, Targon has a lot of Nexus healing. Hard to say. Alright, that'll be game, though. GG's. For someone trying to rank up, would you recommend sticking to one deck and just mastering that deck or to play multiple different decks? It's usually best to play one deck and master that deck because then you're going to know all the ins and outs. You're going to know exactly what you want to mulligan against every single matchup. You're going to know how every opponent is going to be attacking you, um, what they're going to be doing against you, and all that kind of stuff. And so I would recommend the one deck mastering. Vladimir Soraka. I mean, all these are like decent cards. I don't know if we really get rid of anything against Vladimir Soraka. I don't know. I None of these are like, you know, Heimerdinger and Lux and stuff like that. Uh, we do have the Stony Suppressor to make the Concerted Strike cost six. I could honestly just see mulliganing all four of these cards. But I kept them all. <laughs> make those gems cost a little bit more. You want to play gems? It's going to cost the you. Soldier is worth ten foes. Glory unrelenting. Looks like we're playing against Soraka Starspring decks. Two for two. No remembrance. To heal and protect. Magic has no place here. 
Close your eyes, and the stars will fill you with their light. If my eyes are closed, won't I miss it? I protect my own. Uh, no. The reason why I don't want to trade them is so that I can have Concerted Strike. Kill Soraka. Maybe I'm just casting Remembrance this turn. Yeah, we'll just cast Remembrance. We'll use the interaction on their turn. Radiant Guardian. Alright, so we got the we got the Purify combo. So we have Detains to go along with uh, Purify. I have so many options. I can detain my own Mage Seeker Investigator so we get another detain back. We have a lot of cool little tricks we can do this turn. Don't have to worry about Astral Protection or Bastion. I think the killing Soraka um, is probably what I want to do. Yeah. I think killing Soraka is what I want to do. I'm not too worried, like, so obviously, like, Pale Cascade's an option here. I'm not too worried about the damage being dealt. Our mountain groves are full of dangers, but I know them all. Stand back. Lux. Stay safe, my lady. Mages Get some final sparks. Oh, uh, don't you worry about me. You'll live. Probably. More worried about Star Spring than uh, the damage going to my Nexus. All right, nine mana. Overwhelm. Overwhelm's a thing. So we could have Bastion, and then we play Gotcha. I've been hiding my life too long. Okay, no Bastion. I really want to play this Pale Cascade. Suspicious. My Mage Seeker Investigator. I kind of like being able to detain my Mage Seeker Investigator. I like that. And you know what? We don't have Heimerdinger here to make these things cost six. I'm sorry, Stony Suppressor. We're gonna go ahead and just get rid of you with have you know help have these final sparks cost zero. Kind of want that. So we're gonna kill that thing finally. We're going to get rid of this broad-backed protector. Okay. Nice, Michael. Going with the frozen food. I think you're going to hit Masters, too. All right, so we have two mana to for Lux, so another five mana... Levels up Lux. Um, or, you know, not really level up, but y'all know what I mean. Oh, wait. I didn't kill this thing? Oh, that's right. It doesn't just do three damage to this thing at the beginning of the turn. It, they actually have to heal their Nexus. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, it's not a bug, so like, it's just, you heal your Nexus 3 and then you deal damage to me equal to the amount healed, so they only healed 2. 
because they were at 18, so it only dealt two. It's just it doesn't just deal three every turn. It is con conditional. They're at 9 out of 22 over there. Behold, I will detain I Vladimir. I'd never keep my guests Choose an ally, detain this. Remember, we, we can purify our sergeant so that they won't get any of these things back whenever we want. I think I'm going to be casting Progress Day. Pop to it, Ely. Round up those stars. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, I'm not really worried about these things attacking. Radiant Guardian, huh? I'm out of their league. Alright, we're gonna go protege, we're gonna go for Demacia. Surprised they're they don't they're not casting the gem on the broadback protector. A little surprised about that. They're just letting me kill that thing. I'm surprised about that. Maybe they've given up. I'd ask your name, but I don't care. Playing against Star Springs a little weird of like the lines you take. I fight for the fallen. All right, there we go. GGs, we are two and O, oh. two and O oh versus Star Springs. Do we win? The Stony Suppressor is working better than expected. Ooh, that's weird. Okay, Elise Callista with Demacia. So is that like rally? With Demacia. Um, gotcha kills both of their champions. Purify, I mean, the, if they're playing Rally, does that mean they're playing um, the Undying? And therefore, does that mean that I need Purify to stop the Undying? I don't know, that all sounds kind of reasonable. So I guess I'll keep Purify and we'll see. What would I do to balance Trundle? Good question. Um, you know, my, my first thought is maybe just four or five, so it's easier to kill. Um, 
Maybe it's something with... Maybe it's something with the Ice Pillar. Ice Pillar being a 0-8 is pretty silly. I don't know, Ice Pillar... Maybe it shouldn't re refill... Maybe it should actually just cost mana to cast an Ice Pillar instead of it costing 0 mana to cast Ice Pillar. Can definitely see that. <laughs> yeah, Trundle with Troll Chant means this card's impossible to kill. Alright, so my plan here, trade with both of these. I have two things die. I, that means Remembrance will cost four mana, so we'll still be able to remem Remembrance. And we get Hextech Transmogulator. Yes. Screeching Dragon, awesome. So I've not played a 6-mana spell, because we spent 4-mana on Remembrance, so Mage Seeker Persuader doesn't have any special abilities. A 5-mana 3-6 with Regeneration. I don't know, that just gives you a such a great blocker even earlier in the game. Mages can't hide from me. Um, <laughs> just tuned in. Stonyheimer sounds like he's the silliest or best deck idea ever. Hey, what's up, Choo Choo? I agree. Definitely is. I think I think that's the way to nerf Trundle is nerfing the Ice Pillar. I feel like the Ice Pillar is too good. I don't know. They're just passing here. This has got to be like a Ruination deck, right? Yeah, this has got to be Ruination. That's what it's feeling like, at least. I don't know, I'm squarely in control. I'm gonna try keeping them from drawing two. And basically trade my gotcha for two cards. I think that's a fair trade. Ice Pillar is just like a different design card they haven't really seen too much of before anything similar to it. So I don't I don't know I don't really know how I would change Ice Pillar, but I think that that's instead of just like tinkering around with stats of Trundle, I think that's where you could really tinker Magic must be stopped is uh, find how to balance Ice Pillar out a little better. Because there's, there's so many good things about just playing... Alright, am I actually playing Lux yet? I'm still worried about Ruination. <laughs> We're gonna have 12 mana next turn, not enough for Progress Day, and... So I think I have to Progress Day this turn. Because we won't have enough for Progress Day and Detain next turn yet. So I think I'm still doing this. Well, let's see. I'll have... Okay, I, I could have Hextech Transmogulator and Detain. So actually, never mind. So we're safe. We go Hextech Transmogulator, Detain. But, sorry, but what if, what if Ice Pillar actually just costs mana? You know, like, instead of it just being 8 mana and then being free, what if it was, like, 8 mana that refilled, you know, 4 mana? There's so much power in... Um, in having, like, Ice Pillar, you put that out, and now it's on the opponent, and like now the opponent has to act first, and then you get to to go from there. There's a lot of power in that. Shine with me. What is this attack about?
Alright, now I cannot create... Now I can't... By playing that, now I can't create Detain and then cast Detain. So my, my plan against Ruination was to be able to create Detain and then Detain my own Lux so that the things die and then I get my Lux back. Um, so that, that was was and has been my plan. Stand in judgment. But of course, we, we have five cards, they have three. As long as we don't mess up against, like, Harrowing or something. You know, hopefully I get to just progress day this turn. I'm just gonna let it happen. I know what lurks okay. in the shadow. Maybe I don't need to be as worried about ruination. Lovely day for a battle. Yeah, maybe we don't. I wasn't going to play Heimer. That... I feel like that's going a little far of, of overextending. Like, the Lux is going to win the game. We don't need to play the Heimer. We'll be fine. Can every day be progress, Jack? We can only hope. All right, Michael, take care. <laughs> Callista Blackspear. Lisa's Crawling Sensation. Okay. Now enjoy it. Confine and contain. You don't know what you're doing. There you go, Kordak. Awesome. Yeah, pirate deck is pretty good. Okay, fine. We got backup Heimerdinger. We got Detain. I guess we can start playing more cool things. Alright, we're going to turn this 4-3 into a 1-1. One, one. Wait, no. Actually, you know what? Let's turn the that thing into a Radiant Guardian. That sounds cooler. I want my 6-1 Elusive. And they're dead Callista. And now we're just basically running up the score. There we go. All right, 3 now. Truly remarkable. So that Lux gets final sparks and um, Heimerdinger gets 6-1 uh, elusives. So that's what, that's what we're doing here with the Stony Suppressor for those of y'all just joining. All right, we're, we're playing against some Trundlemere. Trundle, Trindomere. Trundlemere. All right, we're going to just mulligan. Don't really need any of these. Let's see what else we get. Stony Suppressor could be kind of decent here of slowing down their ramp. If we do draw that card. Um, I'm going to just pass and hope for... Rats. Hope for Remembrance. Who does not know the name Laurent? Cool. They don't get to uh, uh, don't get to ramp this turn, and our hand is not very good. I know they're passing, but I kind of want to just keep passing. <laughs> well, we play like Mage Seeker Persuader. Petricide, protect me. Don't really need to. I'll be surprised if this works. I'll be surprised if there's no troll chant. 
for how little else they've had and like how they were willing to play that into my challenger. I would have rather had you last turn, Heimer, than the cards I was playing. All right, so I play Lux. Gives them, just gives them the opportunity to like vengeance and all that kind of stuff. But I guess we do that. Yeah. I mean, what else are we doing? We Next turn I'll have like Heimer plus Detain to kind of protect Heimer. If detaining my own Heimer Dinger counts as protecting it. Nothing escapes my notice. Hardly fair. Have to expect like Trindamir or Ruination or any of that kind of stuff. More weirding stones? That's all they got. What seems to be the problem? Oh, we've drawn all of our cheap Mage Seekers. Yeah, it's annoying that we've drawn all of those. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. I don't want to Progress Day first because Progress Day first just means that maybe we draw more things that get get destroyed by She Who Wanders. So like, like She Who Wanders would have just taken the Stony Suppressor also. Okay, not using a Troll Chant. Now we're using Troll Chant? Why? Seven. Ruination obviously is still the worst case scenario. Okay, okay. So I think I want to keep Heimerdinger alive. Yeah, I think we keep Heimerdinger alive. Of course, we're not going to be able to final spark anything. Order, entropy, a level ending cycle. The sun is shining. We should too. I just don't have any trundles or anything. I guess not. They're gonna go avalanche. Yeah, they're probably gonna go avalanche. Mm, oh. I'm just gonna do that all day. Our one mana shouldn't be able to kill Heimerdinger, so we should be good. And we're just going to be going right to attacks. Uh, Withering Whale is the worst case scenario now. Uh, 
investigation must begin somewhere. All right, hopefully no withering will. Game? No. Okay, so this puts them down to seven. So I can go sharp sight on like the four one, but then that'd still just be six damage, so that would still not kill them, which is uh, the biggest problem here. So I guess I have to go sharp sight on the Heimerdinger to keep that alive. That's why Withering Will is their worst case scenario. So we couldn't kill them through it. Just when I needed assistance. We fight for one frail yard. Yeah, we're playing. Yeah, we're playing suppressor in the deck to turn. The, like we have detains and concerted strikes, and we want to turn them into six mana, so we can get the six mana turret. And because uh, the six mana turret's the six one, and then also it gives you the six plus cost spells for Lux. So we're making our own spells cost more for our Heimer and Lux. Got him this time? No, oh, these withering whales. Kill me. I'm kind of out of spells now. That troll chant was perfect. That was, the, that was, of course, their third troll chant. It was the only card that killed my Lux. I'm still just scared to play Radiant Guardian, thinking that we don't need to play another thing, but obviously if I would have played Radiant Guardian before... So they, they played one ruination so far. I fight for the fallen. Purifies to go with the detains. Run them through. We finally got him. Good sharp sharp sight draw. Pretty greedy. Not going after Radiant Guardian. All right, GGS. We're four and zero <laughs> with our Stony Heimerdinger deck. And I think this is probably Soraka Tom Kench. Yes, it is. So we are over in ranked now since we're 4 0. Send them all back. See the sharp sight keeping that. Okay, I like this better. I like that we got turn three remembrance. That's good. We got a Heimerdinger. Also good. Rainy Guardian. Meh. <laughs> yeah, our yeah our last opponent didn't play any Trundles or Trindamir. Is that? I can't believe we played that long of a game and they did nothing. It's not something you'll see very often. Vanguard cavalry. This world has such great. I don't just pass. I think they would like that block and be able to do all their healing stuff on the Soraka. I will find the goodness in you, River King. Who only provides temporary sustenance, child? Yes. 
Oh, I don't require a menu. Go no further. So even like Astral Protection, we can take down Soraka through Astral Protection with that and Gotcha. They could have like Astral Protection plus Pale Cascade. Everyone hungers. Okay. All right, good. Got to rock out of here. It requires a lot to kill a Soraka. Not easy. I'm sure there's something for my taste. There way too many units, not enough spells. I want many more spells. Recite, protect me. Let us peruse this establishment's fair. Charge! <clears throat> We really use our detains, right? Like, we have a ton of detains in this deck, but we haven't drawn any of those yet. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have any great ideas. I could go, like, obviously I could go, I could go Heimerdinger, but then it's just going to be eaten the next turn, um, and it's probably going to get eaten before I could even play Remembrance or anything like that. Uh, none of these cards matter. Yeah, none of these cards matter. So I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, besides just slowly lose to Tom Kench. We did, we already, we did defeat this deck earlier. This was our first win, right? Like we played against, multi, you know, two Starspring decks to start with. A will, I think that we have a lot of good stuff normally, but these cards don't matter. So what's in store for me? I need time for Why did they target the 2-4? You know. What's that? That's why. Uh, full heal Soraka. It's a good card. I need these 1 1s to die so that maybe we find some good spells from them. Um, I know it's an option to have like the Sharp Sight with the Vanguard Cavalry on these, but I, I need these spells. Okay. It's not the worst with the sunk cost. It's not the worst. So now we got we got to play around Bastion somehow. I'm sure there's something for my taste. I wish Purify could even just target. Yeah, I wish I could just target Tom Kench to get rid of a Bastion. Same with the Transmogulator. They can't. This can't. So we can't get rid of a Bastion. To the field. Well, Hush is in Targon. We can't play Hush. We are not allowed to play Hush. All right, well, I guess we're just going to make them have it if they have Bastion. It's like if they probably have Bastion, they're going to win. If they don't have Bastion, we have a lot better chance in this game. Unfortunately, didn't draw too well in this game with all these, these kind of cards don't matter. 
What's up, Penguin? This is a game where we want Lux and Detains. We want our Luxes and our Detains. And our Concerted Strikes. Alright, well, maybe we still die to the Star Spring. I guess we still die to Star Spring. Yeah, Soraka's got us. Pablo's been down, but his knee out! Ah, I told your ancestors to protect! Yep. All right, didn't quite finish off the 5-0. So the, the Star Spring just wins the game at the end of the turn. I mean, I, can't, I couldn't beat the Tom Kench either. I couldn't beat either card. I feel like it's easier to play around Star Spring, but yeah, I, I couldn't beat either card. I, I think that's actually a, a fairly decent matchup for us. It's just, <clears throat> as we saw how we beat the, the other Star Spring decks earlier pretty easily. That game went really well for them, and uh, Tom Kench and Soraka can—they can do stuff. They're not—they're not terrible. They can do stuff. All right, but that Stony Heimer—that was pretty cool, having Heimerdinger and Lux with the Stony Suppressor to have the spells cost one more. Um, you know, with our with our detains, because we have four detains in here. Because our Mage Seeker Investigators create detains as well. So our four detains making those cost six. Our three concerted strikes making those cost six. Unfortunately, those those cards and Lux, those are the ones that we want. That's ten out of our forty cards. It's twenty five percent of our deck, and we drew zero of those twenty five percent of the deck in that last matchup. Uh, let's see. It felt like we had a little bit too many units in here. Honestly, like the protege didn't look very good. Um, Conservator is just really in there to block against aggro. And so I think it's okay. I think the card that I was the most um, disappointed in was the Protégé, I'd have to say. Um, I don't know exactly what you'd want to replace Protégé with, but it was it was the card that, um, you know, frequently we just weren't playing. It just didn't matter. Um, didn't care about it. We don't really have any ways besides, like, our only way to protect our champions is Sharp Sight. And so maybe that's what we want. Maybe we want just more ways to protect champions. Um, maybe we want, like, single combats in here. That That's something that it kind of felt like like that we could have had with single combat. We don't have Flash of Brilliance. I'm not sure if we want that with Stony Suppressor or not. But I'm just saying that's that's something we didn't have. But it, it did felt like we maybe had a little bit too many units. And the one that that looked the worst was the protege yeah mystic shot repost both great great cards as well mage secret persuader didn't look that good either though you know i say protege like at least you know against the fearsome deck you know it, it challenged the three two and killed that and, and did some other stuff yeah mage secret persuader didn't look that good either kind of just want more like investigators and sergeants and things like that you know for like, I think our I want our units to be able to to create spells for us, um, impactful spells. So like, investigator was awesome. I would not mind playing three of those. <laughs> yeah, go back to, go back to, nerfed flash of brilliance at four mana. <laughs> All right, but anyway, that's Stonyheimer. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments. I always appreciate those. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.